डियर चिल्ड्रेन टूडे वी विल डू क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन दैट इज कॉमन फ्रैक्शन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज फाइंड द फ्रैक्शन इन विच द डिनोमिनेटर इज थ्री मोर देन द न्यूमिनेटर नाउ हेयर सम फ्रैक्शन आर गिवेन टू अर्स एंड वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दोज फ्रैक्शन वेयर डिनोमिनेटर इज मोर देन द न्यूमिनेटर बाय थ्री ओके सो लेट्स आइडेंटिफाई द फ्रैक्शन फर्स्ट वन इज सिक्स बाय नाइन सो देर डिफरेंस शुड बी थ्री इफ यू विल सब्ट्रैक्ट सिक्स फ्रॉम नाइन इफ द डिफरेंस विल बी थ्री इट मीन्स द डिनोमिनेटर इज थ्री मोर देन द न्यूमिनेटर सो ऑब्वियसली नाइन माइनस सिक्स इज थ्री सो दिस फ्रैक्शन इज हैविंग डिनोमिनेटर थ्री मोर देन द न्यूमिनेटर देन इट इज सेवन बाय फोर here the numerator is greater so here um, the denominator is not 3 more than the numerator but it is less than the numerator okay now here it is 8 by 11 so denominator should be greater then only we can say that it is 3 more than the numerator or 4 more than or 5 more than but we have to identify only those fractions where denominator will be 3 more than the numerator so 8 by 11 so 11 minus 8 is 3 and the denominator is greater and the difference is 3 so yes in 8 by 11 uh, the denominator is 3 more than the numerator next is 4 by 9 here the denominator is greater but when we will subtract the difference is 5 not 3 now next one 11 minus 13 so denominator is greater but when we will subtract 13 and 11 we will get the answer 2 so it is not a fraction where denominator is 3 more than the numerator now next is 7 by 10 here the denominator is greater and when we will subtract the answer will be 3 so yes here denominator is 3 more than the numerator the difference should be 3 denominator should be greater and when we will subtract the answer should be 3 but if the numerator is greater and the answer is 3 it means numerator is 3 more than denominator so that will not be selected now 14 minus 11 here the numerator is greater it means numerator is more than denominator but we need to find where the denominator is 3 more than numerator here when we will subtract the answer will be 3 but the numerator is greater than the denominator and we need to find where the denominator is greater so next is 16 by 3 here also the numerator is greater so it means it is not a fraction where denominator is 3 more than numerator next is 20 by 23 here the denominator is greater and when we will subtract the answer will be 3 it means yes this fraction is having denominator 3 more than numerator so what you need to do you need to see the first thing the denominator should be greater the second thing the difference should be 3 okay so now let's move on to the next question now the next question is question number 7 gitika bought 12 toffees okay she bought 12 toffees she gave 7 toffees to her daughter and out of 12 7 toffees she gave to her daughter now what fraction of toffees did she give to her daughter now we know the number of toffees she gave to her her daughter but we need to find the fraction of toffees she gave to her she gave to her daughter okay so let us write the statement first of all we will write toffees bought it is 12 then toffees gitika gave to her daughter how many toffees she gave seven okay then now we will find therefore fraction of toffees she gave to her 
daughter now the toffees she gave to her daughter will be written above the line as numerator and total toffees should be written below the line as denominator and this will be the fraction because total number of toffees will be written in the denominator and toffees she gave to her daughter will be the numerator and this is the fraction that is she gave 7 by 12 toffees to her daughter means 7 out of 12 okay so this is how you can write the answer now the next question is question number 8 a bookseller has 15 books how many books a bookseller has 15 he sold 8 books and out of 15 he sold 8 books so we can find that how many books he is having now after selling the books so what fraction of the books does he have now so if we want to find the fraction of books that he have now for that first of all we should know how many books he is having now okay so first of all we will find that after selling eight books how many books he is having now and then with that number we will write the fraction of books he is having now so the first statement that we will write is books a bookseller has is equal to 15 then books sold it is 8 now we will find books he have now for that we need to subtract okay 15 minus 8 means books sold from total number of books so we will get seven books so he is having seven books so if he is having seven books we can easily write the fraction of books he is having now therefore fraction of the books he have now now total number of books 15 will be written below the line as denominator and books he is having now will be written above the line as numerator so 7 by 15 is the fraction of books he has now now the next question is question number 9 gorav invited 20 friends on his birthday party now how many friends gorav invited on his birthday party 20 only 17 friends came to attend the party but all the 20 friends did not come how many friends came to the party only 17 so what fraction of the friends did not attend the party so first of all we need to find the number of friends who did not attend the party then only with that number we can find the fraction of the friends who did not attend the party so let's start the question first of all we will write number of friends invited for the party that is 20 then next statement we will write number of friends came how many 17 now we need to find the fraction who did not uh, fraction of friends who did not attend the party so first of all we will find the number of friends who did not attend the party so total 20 friends were invited out of it 17 came so three friends did not attend the party so this number we will use to write the fraction therefore fraction of the friends who did not attend the party is equals to total friends invited were 20 it will be written below the line as denominator and three friends did not 
come to attend the party so it will be written above the line as numerator because here we have to we don't have to find the fraction of friends who came for the party we have to find the fractions of fraction of friends who did not attend the party okay for that first of all we will find the number of friends who did not attend the party and with that we will write the fraction of friends who did not attend the party so this is how you can solve this question now question number 10 is a class has 35 students it means total students were 35 on monday 34 students were present on monday how many students came to school 34 so what fraction of the student were absent so present we know but for the fraction of the absent students we need to find the number of students who were absent so let's write the statement first of all we will write it is solution total students so how many total students were there in the class 35 then students present how many 34 but we need we are not supposed to find the uh, fraction of present student we have to find the fraction of absent students so first of all we will find number of students who were absent means 35 minus 34 that is 1 now we can find fraction of the students who were absent because we know the number of students who were absent see the if you need to find fraction of something first of all you should know the number of that thing okay so now total students were 35 it will be written below the line as denominator and absent students will be written above the line as numerator so the fraction of the absent students is 1 by 35 so dear students i hope you would have understood all the questions of exercise 6 seven that we have done today thank you